Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. Um, I asked Karen in to speak and she so graciously said yes, so I'm gonna ask her to come up and say a few words. Yeah, that's for you. New Hampshire loves Karen. Yeah, I like that picture. That's going to be a campaign. <laughs> Should I send that to the LNC? I think they'd love that. Yeah. Okay, I didn't have, I had absolutely nothing prepared. Like, I wrote down three things, and the first thing I wrote down is New Hampshire, and that should be obvious. Neither did we. Yeah. So, and I asked Nolan just to tell me when to shut up. I never, I never prepare speeches anymore. And I probably will cry because I'm a very emotional person. So what I decided I really wanted to talk about, obviously is the elephant in the room, is what happened in June that led to today. And there, there was a big lesson I learned in that. I'm a religious person, some of you aren't, it doesn't matter. I, I tend to think religion is just wisdom. And whether you're an atheist or not, it, do, it doesn't matter. When I first ran for LNC, in 2016, I ran on a platform, funny enough, of protecting affiliates. That's what I ran on. It wasn't affiliates in general, it was Colorado in specific, and it was because of Oregon. I saw what the LNC did to Oregon, and I said if they did it to Oregon, they could do it to Colorado. I'll never let that happen to Colorado. And what I said in an Nolan after what happened with New Hampshire, I said, I love you guys, but I was protecting Colorado through proxy. But what is funny is that is what I ran on, and that is eventually what happened, isn't it? And you can say you're going to do something. You can say you have certain principles. Like, for instance, I'm a pacifist. But if it ever came down to a situation where I had to choose to lethally defend my life or not, I don't know what I would do. None of us know what I would do. And I could say that I was there for principle and to defend affiliates, but until it actually happened, where I had to give up the thing I most prized. And if you all think that didn't hurt me, I prized being secretary. I could act tough like it didn't matter, but it mattered. But I had to make a decision at that moment. Do I stand for what I said I stood for and give up what mattered most at the, that point in time to me? Or do I protect that? And I am so glad that when the test came, I passed the test. But none of, none of us know. So, you know, in, 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 in a lot of ways, that, you know, I say we both gave something to each other. But the funny thing is, if it didn't happen with New Hampshire, it would happen with Delaware. You know? And the funny thing is the unintended consequences. Because now that I'm not on the LNC, I've been able to do a lot to help Massachusetts, to help Delaware. And there's a few other states this is going in on that I don't really want to mention specifically because it's not public yet. But I would do, a, even if I knew what would happen, I would still do it all over again. I have zero, zero regrets. But if I act like I haven't been really, really hurt, I'd be lying. There were people I thought were my best best friends in the world. They're not your fucking friends. <laughs> you know, but I I would I, I would do it all over all over again. So I I'm super grateful that I was able to help you. I know there's gratefulness in return, but I am more grateful I think to you guys for allowing me actually to prove the the, the principles of the matter. But what that comes down to is people think. And, and I'm going to relate it to me because that's all I can relate it to, but I hate relating things to me because it sounds almost arrogant. So I'm trying to give the disclaimer and purpose. But people like to come up to me and say, oh, you're very brave. No, I'm not. I'm not brave at all. But the fact is, fearless people aren't brave. You can only be brave if you're scared. And that actually was, I think, the line in Game of Thrones. I was we watching Game of Thrones again, because anytime I have to deal with the LNC, I watch Game of Thrones with you. <laughs> because Aaron Star looks just like Littlefinger, I'm sorry. If you haven't noticed that, it's absolutely true. But you, you can't be brave unless you're scared. 
So I want to give you a little anecdote that, that, that tells you why I do what I do. In 2018, Freekeen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at lbry.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.